movies and TV shows. We all love them, and some of them have even been shot in Pasadena. We're taking you on a behind-the-scenes tour of the unique locations that set the stage for some of your favorite scenes. Parks and Recreation and A Walk in the Clouds was shot at Pasadena City Hall. Sons of Anarchy featured the first Church of Christ scientists. The Civic Auditorium houses America's Got Talent and the Golden Globes. This building was featured in a boxing match in Pulp Fiction. Marshall School was featured in the movie Transformers. Andy's Coffee Shop was used in Mad Men. Caltech appeared in Beverly Hills Cop. The Gamble House was Doc Brown's house in Back to the Future. The Colorado Street Bridge was featured in La La Land. Pasadena is so attractive as a film location because we have such a unique variety of locations to choose from. We have everything from an abandoned hospital, we have a beautiful Colorado bridge, we have natural park areas, uh, we have all kinds of different types of homes as far as mansions, we have every type you can imagine. The Pasadena Film Office has a three-day turnaround. We offer over a thousand locations for filming and we have a very friendly film staff here at City of Pasadena Film Office. The fun part of my job is getting to know what's filming currently and knowing about the big movies that are coming out before anybody else does. Some of the recent TV shows we've had here are the HBO show Veep. We've also had Showtime Shameless just yesterday. We also get the uh, Amazon show called Transparent, films here quite a bit. Um, we have a lot of recurring TV series. The only restricted area for filming is Old Pasadena and that's only on the weekends. So we do receive quite a few requests to film at the Castle Green. It's a very popular location, um, it's very beautiful, it has the Central Park right next to it and it's very easy logistically to film there. Welcome to the Castle Green. We have filming all year round. There have been so many films and movies shown here. I mean, TV shows predominate, particularly because they can come in and do like three days and don't interrupt most of the people who live here. However, we've had major motion pictures. We've had, last big one was probably Live By Night with Ben Affleck film. We did uh, Last Samurai, uh, The Sting. In terms of TV, NCIS has been here many times. The last one was Last Tycoon, which is coming out on Netflix shortly. People are drawn to this place because it is unique. There's not another place like it in probably Southern California. It was built in 1898, so it's 120 years old. It was a wonderful example of Victorianism, where there was, it was so eclectic. You had the architecture was done in Moorish, Victorian, uh, style and Spanish colonial, so that it really brings in a lot of things. So people, particularly film people, like it because it works for everything. It works for, they, uh, people just come here, the location managers come here because they love it. They, they love the fact that they can do five or seven shoots in one location because there's a Moorish room, which we're standing in, a Turkish room, there's a grand salon that is very Victorian, a ballroom, and of course the wonderful exterior, which is mainly Spanish colonial. Castle Green is Filming 101. It's the place you go to when you want to have an, uh, an exceptional site that is already dressed. Basically, they don't have to do much in the way of dressing this location. We also receive a lot of requests for filming at the Pasadena Museum of History over on Walnut. Uh, it's a great location. We have recurring uh, series Drunk History that films there quite often. This is uh, the steps of Fenez Mansion, which are on the grounds of the Pasadena Museum of History. The mansion was built in 1906, and about six years after it was built, the owner of the mansion, Eva Scott Fenez, entered into her first film contract with D.W. Griffith. He filmed a 17-minute short film here known as The Queen's Necklace. Uh, it was a silent film, of course, and he, the grounds were crawling with people dressed up in medieval costumes, holding up false trumpets, fair maidens, and such. Mrs. Fenez continued her love affair with the movies, and over the next decade, she hosted several more films here, such luminaries as Douglas Fairbanks, Tom Mix, Harry Carey. They all filmed here at the gardens. And Mrs. Fenez has in the archives at the Pasadena Museum of History in her personal photo albums, signed photos from many of these stars, as well as notations saying how much she enjoyed having them on the grounds at the museum. The museum has kept up the tradition of having filming on the grounds of Fenez Mansion. And over the years, it stood in for the White House many times. We've hosted scenes from the West Wing here. 
Most recently, The Social Network by David Fincher was filmed here, the children's TV show Gordimer Gibbons, and the biggest one that I've ever seen was Beyonce's formation video. Fenya's mansion stood in as a southern gothic plantation house, and it's almost unrecognizable. They did such an incredible job dressing it and changing it to, to look like it. It's amazing what Hollywood can do. Historical authenticity, I think, is obviously key for so many directors who come here. And this mansion, you know, we've been very careful to preserve it to the 1905-1906 vision as when it was built. You know, it interests me that Hollywood directors will go to such great length to find a period location. Pasadena has a charm that can't be replicated, and they have a lot of big, beautiful houses <laughs> as well. And you can mimic many different settings, I think, in this area, from the East Coast to the Midwest. Um, it, it's really got it all in terms of architecture and its gardens as well. We've shown you just a few of the many film and TV locations in Pasadena, so make sure to take a tour for yourself, because even if you're not a movie star, you can feel like you're walking in the steps of one.